I thought this animation might help you see the relationship between the periodic function sine theta and the unit circle. Uh, let me start the animation. Okay, right here, note that the arc length swept by the point A, uh, remember arc length is r times theta, uh, where theta is in radians. Uh, the unit circle has a radius of 1, so that arc length swept is simply theta, so that distance traveled by the point A is theta radians. The next thing to observe is the triangle uh, formed by the points A, B, and C. The hypotenuse of that triangle, since it's the radius of the unit circle, is just 1. So the angle theta there, its sine is side opposite over the hypotenuse of 1, and the side opposite is the y coordinate. So the sine of theta is simply y. Uh, similarly, side adjacent, the cosine of theta, side adjacent over the hypotenuse is just uh, the coordinate x. So the thing to observe is that a's coordinates are, if you can see this, cosine theta, sine theta. Now e's coordinates, or the angle, the x-coordinate is the angle theta, uh, and the y-coordinate is sine theta. So one thing to notice uh, is that the points A and B are always at the same height uh, as the animation progresses. So I'll uh, uh, continue the animation now. Right, so notice how E has swept one period's worth of the sine function uh, simply by um, done this by plotting the sequence of points theta sine theta. And now also notice that if we continue to sweep A around and around the unit circle, we'd see that sine theta is periodic with a period of 2 pi. Uh, note that uh, the x coordinate here is greater than 6 and in fact it's uh, 2 pi. And finally I'll put a link to the original uh, YouTube uh, video from uh, Mr. Level Ford um, down below this video uh, so that you can uh, watch the video without the, uh, the stops and starts of uh, my uh, comments on it.